so today is July 4th and I am just laying in bed working on some planning for our family vacation trip so I figured I'd just kind of film clips bring you guys along for kind of the process of how I kind of get everything organized um, for us and plus it's really fun to use stickers and, and stuff so I have washi because we'll be doing Universal Studios Hollywood and then also Disneyland and a beach day um, that's what we decided on and I'm just using these sheets from a guided journal because I like the boxes and I'm just kind of kind of tweak it to make it an itinerary slash packing list so I'll show you guys kind of the process as I go but right now what I'm doing is just taping this to this because I don't need the habit tracker I'm going to make this kind of like the title sheet for um it's a save vacation family vacation so yeah I'm gonna do that now so the first thing I'm going to do is just tape both pages together to create one with the front check section being where I will list out family vacation. And again, these pages are just from a guided journal. You can use any kind of filler page you have to create this awesome planning section in your planner. And these letter stickers I actually got from the Stony Clover by Target launch that dropped over in April of this year. And I've been waiting to use these stickers. So I'm just alternating the colors to really make it fun and summery. I love adding these title covers to any section that I add in my planner, whether it be for vacations, party planning, holiday recipes, etc. It just really makes it fun to flip to it every night and kind of visualize what's happening and what's to come. So that's what I love to do. And right here, I'm just using the summer sticker book. This is an older sticker book. I believe it came out in 2019. And I just love bringing it every summer for the doodles and illustrations. They're just so cute. And it's just really easy to kind of create these pages with stickers you have lying around, filler pages, as well as washi tape. And I'm just looking at some of the washi tape I have here. I have a set of Harry Potter washi tape rolls that my friend Amy from Amy Plans Her Live sent me. I also have some from No White Stickers, the sticker shop. I love their stickers. And then I'm just going ahead and adding some dates, cutting out the number 20 and 22 to uh, just kind of list out when this is happening, which is July of 2022. I also have this really cute Red Lyrics girl that has many ears on to um, kind of highlight our Disney section of our trip, plus some Harry Potter stickers that I got from AMXO. And then I'm just adding some stickers from this DIY sticker book I created, holding all my quote stickers. Next up, I'm going into the box section and whiting out what I don't need. And I will be creating kind of a little day-to-day -day guide, just listing out what we'll be doing each day, where we'll be going. Kind of like an itinerary um, visually i love seeing this and it really helps me understand what's going on and i still plan out in my weekly spread which um you guys already saw the plan with me but i just love doing this because i'm like i was such a big visual person and being able to see this in one layout with both pages just helps me to get excited for any trip these rectangle boxes um, will be used to list out goals we have for each theme park We'll be visiting Universal Studios and also Disneyland. So definitely highlighting a few goals we want to accomplish without putting too much pressure on ourselves to get a lot done, but at least highlighting two things that we want to accomplish um, throughout the days. I'm using some of the boxes from Mojo Jojo sticker books to tile each of these squares. And in this box, I am just taping down um, the hotel info. I also have the Disneyland picture laid out, Universal Studios and a picture of the room. Again, I'm a big visual person, so being able to see where we're going, um, the hotel, and also just the theme parks really, again, gets us excited. And the kids love seeing this, and they kind of get amped up and excited to head out to the trip. So this is something I definitely recommend doing if you are doing a family trip, um, giving something like this for your kiddos to see a visual. But I love it. It makes me happy to be able to see this. And it's kind of like memory keeping at the same time. Um, since we have a photo of where we stayed and the theme parks we visited. So again, it's a great way to also memory keep your trip and have this saved for any future trips and use it as a reference guide for how you will plan out your next trip. For this trip, we actually had two rooms booked and I also listed out who would be staying in each room. So this is a great way again to just keep organized if you are traveling with a lot of family members. Um, I love this page and how it had the boxes and rectangles and I could kind of just use it to my advantage and how I wanted to list out items. And again, I brought out some mild liners here to highlight our goals and bring in a little color to the page. So the page was somewhat blank, but just adding some stickers and washi 
and um, some illustrations really brought the pages to life. Now my trip did have some of the dates move around um, and I ended up using this box to list out for Friday, but we ended up coming back on Friday. We did do everything we had listed, which was Universal one day, Disney two days, and a beach day. We just kind of um, switched the dates around, but again, this served as a visual, and when I went to fill out my weekly spread, I could just use the information listed here and put it on its according date. So um, again, I, I pre-did this July 4th, and um, things you know kind of moved around with our work schedule. So. Uh, it was a great thing to have as a kind of a jumping start in regards to how I wanted to plan everything out, but I still loved it and having it all listed out. Um, and like I said, plans can change, but as long as you kind of have an idea and base of where you're going and, and just the details listed, it's just about kind of moving things around. So here I'm just using some of the letters inside the summer sticker book to spell out Disney. I love the bright colors and I'm also going to spell out fun times under Universal Studios and, um, just kind of bring that vibrancy, which I love. And it, it's so just reminiscent of summer. I'm listing out here my um, options for dinner for one of the nights. So the great thing about these boxes is you can list out whatever you want and keep yourself organized in your itinerary, whether it be um, restaurants, places you wanna visit, things you wanna do goals you're setting for yourself for the trip so i really love these pages like i said i think they're awesome to have these blank boxes and kind of make it your own and here i am just kind of listing out our goals for disneyland for sure stay up late was one and we did stay up till midnight one of the nights and um it was just fun using some of these stickers also from the summer sticker book to add some quotes like watch the fireworks which we ended up seeing the fireworks as well as the electric parade and you'll just see me here kind of keep adding more quotes and this is my favorite part is once I've kind of listed out information that I need to have on the spread, um, I come in and add additional stickers to just kind of bring it to life and bring that color and whimsy. So again, just go through all the items you have in your planner storage. Um, I just went through and picked out stickers that I thought would work with this kind of theme and I was happy that I still had some stickers available from the AMXO um, sticker sheet featuring the Harry Potter stickers. So you'll see me lay these out. And again, it was a great combination of Disney and Harry Potter to highlight this trip. And we did have a great time at Universal Studios too, doing the tour lot and even having breakfast at Three Broomsticks. Alright guys, so here is a finished look of kind of the itinerary and just kind of goals and plans for the trip. And I'll add more details in the other additional sheets, like just if we decide to take, it's called the Anaheim Resort Transit ART from the hotel to Disney for a few days. I think that's what we'll be planning on doing. And I like kind of just having this little like, here's a, like a little head start and Chance will definitely love watching or reading through this as well as my nephew because we're taking my nephew with us. And I think it's gonna be so much fun. So it's broken down in the days, each day, plus we have a day at the beach. And then I like always adding photos to any kind of like vacation planning, itinerary or packing sheet. I'm a visual person. So just being able to see this really gets me excited, helps me visualize kind of like a fun trip. And it's just really fun for the kids too, to see this. So, I mean, it's really super easy to do just through, through some stickers together. Um, added some photos and then just added some details. I mean, I could add in more, which I'm probably gonna do uh, later on. Just like I said, I'll do this as my packing list and I'll probably do one for chance on this side and then add some additional details on this page. But this just helps us to kind of have a visual of everything that's going on versus just having everything virtual. I do have everything virtually, like, you know, under my apps and stuff, but sometimes it's just nice to have an overview on paper. I'm a, I'm a big time paper planner, so. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this portion of the video. Again, I'm not sure if this is going to be the end of the video or if I'm going to film clips. I figure I'd just start kind of filming ahead of time. Um, we're not leaving till the 19th, so it's about 15 days away. But I figured I'd kind of film portions and, and see what I end up coming up with in regards to a YouTube video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this part of the video. Music